Well, hello again. So, this is the results from the auction and actually purchasing the uh, bond now. And I've hopefully blanked out all relevant information that I should have. If I didn't, oh well, that's on me. That sucks. But anyhow... As you can see here, if I go through it a little bit, you can see the cusp number of the bond, and it was purchased, you know, a 20 year bond, whatever it says, 19 years, 11 months, because it was one month off of the issue date kind of thing. Anyhow, $4,200 bond. But then you can see that I had to pay $101 and 16 cents essentially for it so that kind of sucks but not a big deal had to buy it at one percent above whatever doesn't really matter in the long run kind of sucks doesn't always happen like that but it's usually around the one hundred dollars for a hundred dollars range you're you're gonna get some variance in there and especially now that the Fed is lowering interest rates, it's expected that in a few more months they're going to knock another quarter of a point, half a point off. So in the future, it's going to be very hard to um, buy bonds above 4%. You're going to have to pay a premium for that. And depending on how uh, far the Fed goes down these might keep going up and up and your new issues are going to be three and a half percent uh three percent depends on how deep they cut interest rates now looking down you can see the issue date and all that stuff the maturity date and then you can go down even further and you'll eventually see the interest payment getting my $86.63 every six months on this bond. Now, if we go to the other one, you can now see how it was a lot different. Um, for the second bond now, I had to pay $101 for every $100 that I got. Another huge difference would be the interest rate that I'm going to be earning, the 4.125% as opposed to the 4.625%. Uh, and then that's heavily reflected in the interest payment that I'm going to get of about $10.50 less on this one. However, I do like the fact that I now have about 20% of what I'm going to assume the ending balance of my portfolio is going to be diversified into bonds instead of just going all in on dividend stocks and relying on that to generate income. Now that I've got some bonds in there and I know that my value is not going to depreciate over time, that at least I'll be maintaining that portion of it. I'll get that money back later. I'll always be gaining that interest on it. I don't have to worry about dividends getting cut or even completely um, done away with like Disney did during COVID or anything like that. Because I have monitored some stocks I was thinking about getting into and then... Um, they slashed their dividends in half, and then I seen the uh, stock price also get cut down about 30-40% as kind of a result to that. So I want to have a good portion of it in safe, solid dividends and um, bonds, such as like Coca-Cola, I think, is a pretty safe, solid thing, and some other things. But now that I've done that, I want to take a little more risk and focus on something here that a lot of people in on Reddit were saying, oh, this is a safe dividend to get into about a year, year and a half ago now. 
and that would be Walgreens Boots Alliance, which, if you did that, that was horrible. Um, it's gone down something like 60-70% in the last couple of years. I'm going to pull up the chart. But yes, right now it is down about 60% over the last year, depending on at what part of the year you would have bought this at. It could be down way more than that if you were up there paying the 26-ish dollars a share. And even over just the last month, it's kind of held, I guess, solid. It's been very down, up, down, up. But it's on a downward trajectory. However, that 11.1% dividend is kind of enticing me a lot as this used to be thought of as a very safe play to buy this back when it was a 2% yielding dividend stock and you were going to be paying like upwards of 45 to $55 a share for it and then it just it's been collapsing it's been a very slow but hard fall but maybe it's going to turn around I don't exactly know why it wouldn't as a put like why it would fail completely but I don't know things could happen and this one is uh definitely on my radar at least so thanks for watching I'll see you next week